Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and here is the problem of the day in the formula for determining the population genotype frequencies the 2 in the term 2PQ is necessary because and you have to choose one of these answers. Here we are talking about Hardy-Weinberg formula. Imagine that we have allele P and allele Q in our gene pool and our organism is deployed. So power 2. Power 2 here stands for the deployed organism. So if we want to open this parenthesis, this is going to be P plus Q times P plus Q, which equals to, take a look, P times P is going to be P squared. So P squared plus P times Q is going to be PQ. P, Q, and then Q times P is going to be Q, P plus Q, P, and then Q times Q is going to be Q squared plus Q squared. And we can simplify. So we are going to get P squared. So this part, then P, Q plus Q, P is the same as 2 P, Q. So we put 2PQ plus 2PQ, which stands for this part of the formula, plus Q squared. And all this equals to 1. Because in this population, we have only two alleles, which can produce three genotypes. If you get used to different uh, letters, for example, P stands for the dominant allele A, and Q stands for the recessive allele A. Then P squared would be homozygous dominant genotype frequency and 2PQ would be frequency of the heterozygous genotype and Q squared would be frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype in this population. And if we combine them, we should get 1 or 100%. And I have one more variant of explanation. Imagine that frequency of the dominant allele P or A is going to be 0 0.6 and frequency of the recessive allele Q or small a is going to be 0 0.4. We can build simple Punnett square in order to find all the probable genotypes in this population. So capital A small a, capital A small a, and we build simple Punnett square. Take a look what we are going to get here. So frequency of the dominant allele is 0 0.6 and recessive 0 0.4. 0 0.6 here and 0 0.4 here. And we are going to get capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. You can put frequencies, these frequencies here. So 0 0.6 times 0 0.6, and we are going to get a frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype, which is here in this formula. And as for the frequency of the heterozygous genotype, as you see, we can see it twice here. So hence this two in the formula. One more time, just different variants, how we can visualize why we put two in Hardy-Weinberg formula and not just P times Q. So now we can choose the correct answer. And as you see, the correct answer is going to be answer B. Heterozygotes can come about in two ways, P, Q and Q, P, which is the same. This is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video.